All right, folks, so here is our uh, next video on uh, the Henry system. Specifically, this particular video is going to deal with um, the first part of the Henry system, which is the primary. And if you remember, the Henry system, uh, as we mentioned in the first video, consists of six parts, uh, the primary, the secondary, the subsecondary, the major, the key, and the final. And when we look at a Henry, we see that it's found here in the top right-hand part of the fingerprint box. And the primary, which is the very first thing we do, is listed in this third spot. And we notice that it consists of two numbers, one in the numerator and one in the denominator, and this is the primary here. So if we were to look at uh, a Henry, uh, if we were to create a table with uh, boxes, and we'd have 12 boxes, six up top for the numerator, six down below for the denominator, we can see the primary consists of two numbers, one in the numerator and one in the denominator. Uh, when we do do a Henry system, as we mentioned before, uh, there is a specific order we do them in, uh, and the primary is the one that we start with first. So we're going to talk about the primary first, and then in a subsequent video we'll talk about the secondary and the subsecondary, and then we'll talk about uh, the major, the key, and the final. But in terms of the primary, uh, the primary uh, deals only with the whorls of a fingerprint. So when we're looking at a fingerprint here, we're only looking at the fingerprints that are whorls. So the other ones, the loops, for example, we're going to disregard. And when we're doing a primary, it's important to remember, too, uh, that we're going to be looking at certain finger numbers. And remember, every fingerprint on the fingerprint card has a number. Remember, the, the right hand are the ones in the top. So we have finger 1, which is the right thumb, 2, which is the right index, 3, which is the right middle, 4, which is the right ring, 5, which is the right little finger, 6, which is the left thumb, 7, which is the left index, 8, which is the left middle, 9, which is the left ring, and then 10, which is the left uh, pinky finger. Um, and remember also when we do our primary that you need to have your cheat sheet out because this is going to be important when we're doing our primary. In particular when we do our primary and when we're looking at our cheat sheet notice that in each box there is a large value here on the right. So for example fingers 1 and 2 the value is 16 for each box. Fingers 3 and 4 we have 8 and 8. Fingers 5 and 6 we have 4 and 4. 2 and 2, 1 and 1. Those numbers are important because what we're going to do to figure out our primary is we're going to add up the numbers of the boxes that have whorls in them. So make sure you have this cheat sheet out to help you with your primary. Remember when we do our primary, the primary goes in the third spot in our Henry classification. And remember the primary consists of a numerator, which is the number on top, and the denominator, which is the number on the bottom. Now again, some rules about primary. Again, primary is only concerned with the whorl fingerprint patterns on the card. And unlike other parts of Henry, where we will pay attention to tracings, when we do the primary, we're not worried about the fingerprint tracing, uh, nor are we worried about the type of whorl. We don't care if it's a central pocket whorl or a double loop whorl. We don't care if it's inner tracing or an outer tracing. Really, all we're interested in is where are the whorls located. Again, the primary consists of a numerator number and a denominator number. The, the numerator number is the value of, of the boxes that have whorls in them that are from the even numbered fingers. So when we figure out the numerator, we're going to look at the even numbered fingers. So finger 2, which is the right index finger, finger 4, which is the right ring finger, finger 6, which is the left thumb, finger 8, which is the left middle finger, and finger 10, which is the left pinky finger. Uh, the denominator deals with the whorls that are found in the odd number fingers, so fingers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. All right, so looking at this Henry classification that's found in the top right-hand corner of our fingerprint card, in order to be able to do the Henry, we have to have a, a fingerprint card that has been fully classified in that each finger has been classified uh, as an arch, a loop, or a whorl. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at which of the fingerprints are whorls. So, for example, not all these fingerprints are whorls. We can see that finger number one is a whorl, but finger number two is an ulnar loop. Finger number three is an ulnar loop. Finger number four, though, is a whorl, as is number five. What we're going to do to figure out the primary, which, again, are these two numbers here, the numerator on top, denominator on the bottom, is we're going to add up the values of the boxes that have whorls in them. So let's look at our cheat sheet here. And then looking at our cheat sheet, let's look at uh, this fingerprint. Or we're going to skip, actually, this fingerprint. Let's look at this one here. Here's a good example. Okay, 
So here are a set of 10 prints which have been classified. And we're going to try to do a Henry for these fingerprints. So remember, the Henry deals with only the whorls. And what we're going to do to figure out the numerator is we're going to look at the whorls that are found in the even-numbered fingers. So what are the even-numbered fingers? Remember that finger number one is the right thumb, so this is an odd number. Finger number two is an even number, so that's the right index. So we're looking at two, four, finger number six, finger number eight, and finger number ten. All right. Now, remember each box has a different value. Box, fingers 1 and 2 have values of 16. Fingers 3 and 4 have values of 8. Fingers 5 and 6 have values of 4. Fingers uh, 7 and 8 have values of 2. And fingers 9 and 10 have values of 1. So what we need to do is figure out which of the even-numbered fingers have whorls in them. So let's look at the even-numbered fingers. Again, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. All right, so finger number 2. Uh, so we're looking to see if it's a whorl. Now it's it's not a whorl. So in terms of adding up our numbers, we're not going to add up anything here because this one's not a whorl. So we're just going to skip this one. We're going to go to finger number four. Finger number four, we can see that it is a whorl. Now we don't care that it's a plain whorl. All we're interested in is that it's a whorl. So finger number four is a whorl, so we're going to add that to our calculation. All right, so what is the value of whorls in finger number four? Well, if we look down here at our cheat sheet, we can see that box number four has a value of eight. So we're going to put write down 8 for now. Now we're going to look at finger number 6. Finger number 6, is it a whorl? Yes, it is. It's a central pocket loop whorl, but again, all we're interested in is it's the whorl. What is the value of box number 6? Well, box number 6 is 4. So we have so far 8, because this is a whorl, and 4, because this is a whorl. All right, let's now look at number finger number 8, which is the next even number finger. It's also a whorl. What is the value of number 8? It's 2. So we're going to say 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 2 more is 16. All right, now we need to look at finger number 10, which is the last even-numbered finger. Finger number 10, is it a whorl? Yes, it is a whorl. So what is the value of 10? It's 1. So what we're going to do then is we're going to add up the values of each of the boxes that have a whorl in them, the even number ones. All right, this one is not a whorl, so we're not going to add that one in. This one is a whorl. Finger number four has a value of eight, so it's going to be eight. Plus this one has a whorl, four. This one has a whorl, so two plus one. So eight plus four plus two plus one is going to equal 15. Now, here's the thing, though. When we're adding up our primary, whenever we add up these values, to get our primer, we always add one more. So even though we have 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, that adds up to 15, the primary is actually 16. All right, and the reason for that is we always have to have a primary. So what if none of these were worlds? What if they were all, let's say, loops? We'd have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, so we just have 0. Well, we always add a 1 so that we at least have a value for the primary. So if you had a primary and the numerator was just 1, that would tell us automatically that there's no worlds because we'd have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, and then we add 1, so we'd have 1. All right, so in this case, we have 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 15, plus we always add 1. So in this case, our primary numerator is 16. Now let's look at our denominator. Remember, the denominator deals with the worlds in the odd, fing odd number fingers. So what are the odd number fingers? 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So let's look at number 1. Number 1, is it a world? The answer is yes. What is the value of number 1? Well, that's 16. So we have 16. All right, now number 3, is number 3 a world? Yes, it is. So what is the value of number 3? It's 8. So 16 plus 8, so that's 24 so far. 16 here, 8 there. What about number 5? Well, finger number 5 is an ulnar loop, so we're not going to add that one. So we don't worry about that one. So now we go to finger number 7. Is number 7 a whorl? Yep, it is. And what is the value of 7? It's 2. All right, so we're going to add 2 more. And then number 9. What is number 9? Is number 9 a whorl? Yes, it is. What's the value of 9? It's 1. All right, so if we add them all together, 16 plus 8 plus, we're not adding here, so just 0 plus 2 plus 1, 
16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 27. Remember, we always add 1, so we're going to get 28. So that means for this set of fingerprints, the primary is going to be 16 over 28. So we'd write that in the third location in our Henry system, which is the spot for our primary. So in this case, the primary for this set of fingerprints is 16 over 28. All right, so if you got that same value with me, good job. Now let's do another one. All right, let's look at this set of fingerprints. All right, so again, we're going to, look, we're going to do the primary. Remember, primary only deals with the fingerprints that are whorls. We're going to have a numerator and we're going to have a denominator, right? The numerator are the whorls that are found in the even number fingerprint boxes, and then the denominator are the whorls in the odd number. Let's do the numerator first. In fact, actually, I'm going to go ahead and stop for just a second. I'm going to give you about, uh, go ahead and pause the video for a moment, and then you see if you can figure it out, and then restart the video, and then we'll see if you got the same value I got. So I'm going to give you about five or ten seconds to pause the video, and then try to see if you can figure out the, the primary of this pattern, and then turn the video back on. So go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so let's see if you got the same value I got. Well, uh, for my uh, numerator, I got 29. And for my denominator, I got 19. Let's see if we can figure out how we got that. All right. So remember, numerator is the even numbers. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. All right. So 2, that's a world. What is the value of 2? 16. 4, it's a world. And its value is what? 8, so 16 plus 4 is going to be 24. Now we go to number 6. 6, is it a whorl? Yes, it is. And 6 whose value is 4, so we have 16 plus 8 is 24, plus 4 more is 28. Now we look at finger 8. It's not a whorl, so we don't add anything there. And 10, it's also not a whorl. Those are both ulnar loops, so we add 0 and 0. So we have 16 plus 8 is 24 plus 4 more is 28. Remember, we always add one more, so our numerator is 29 for our primary. Our denominator, remember, again, is the odd number ones. So fingers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Let's look at number 1. Number 1 is a whorl. What's the value of number 1? It's 16. So 16 plus, let's look at finger number 3. Finger number 3 is an ulnar loop, so we don't add anything there because it's not a whorl, so we're just going to skip that one. Now we're going to look at the next one, which is 5. 5 is an ulnar loop, not a whorl, so we're not going to add anything there. Next, we're going to look at 7. 7 is a whorl, so whorls uh, in 7, uh, the value is 2, so we're going to have 2. And then we're going to look at 9. Number 9 is a, an ulnar loop, so we're not going to add anything there. So we have two whorls. We have a whorl in box 1, which is worth 16. And we have a whorl in box 7, which is 2, so we have 16 plus 2 is 18. Remember, we always add 1. So in this case, our primary of our Henry for this fingerprint set would be 29 over 19. And uh, good job if you got those numbers. And if you didn't, go back and, and check it again and see where you went wrong. All right? What if we have a set of fingerprints that doesn't have any whorls at all? So let's look at this set of fingerprints. So what do we have here? We have nothing but ulnar loops. Owner loop, owner loop, owner loop, owner loop, owner loop, owner loop. So again, how would we figure out our primary? Remember, primary is the, the whorls in the even numbers, but we have no whorls, so it would be 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. So we have 0. Remember, we always add 1, though, so actually our numerator would be 1. All right, now we're going to look at the whorls in the odd numbers. No whorl there, so 0. No whorl there, 0. No whorl there, 0. 0, 0. So again, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. But again, we always add 1. So our primary then is just going to be 1 over 1, So which is what we see here, 1 over 1. So whenever you see a, a Henry, if you saw a primary that was 1 over 1, even if you didn't see the prints themselves, if all you had was this, these numbers here in the top right-hand corner, you didn't actually have the fingerprints, you just had the Henry, the Henry is useful because if I look at that Henry and I see 1 over 1 over my primary, that tells me right away that there are no whorls at all in my set of fingerprints, right? So uh, let's say this was a suspect. And so let's say we fingerprinted our suspect, and let's say we had a latent fingerprint from the crime scene, and it was a whorl. Well, we'd know right away that the suspect, this, that's not the right guy. We don't got the right guy because just looking at the Henry, I can see right away that this guy has no whorls at all. 
right? So that's what the, uh, uh, a Henry, a primary for a Henry of, of a fingerprint set that has no worlds. On the other hand, let's look at this set. This set is all worlds, right? Every single fingerprint's a world, right? So what would the primary look like then? Well, remember, uh, the, to add up the boxes, remember uh, the even numbers, uh, if we add them all up, 16 for this one, 8 for this one is 24, we add 4 more for this is 28, 2 more for this one is 30, 1 more for this is 31, remember I always add one, so we have 32, if we're looking at the odd numbers then, 16 plus 8 is 24, plus 4 more is 28, plus two more is 30, plus one more is 31. Again, we always add one more, so 32. So whenever you have a 32, that's the maximum you can get for your primary, by the way, is 32 over 32. So if you ever saw one over one, that would tell you you have no worlds. If you saw 32 over 32, that would tell you that all the fingerprints are worlds, right? So that's how we do a primary. So now that you've watched this portion of the video, go ahead and log into our Canvas course and complete the uh, primary exercise uh, that's in that uh, our module there.